Hey, hey, right. Let's get on with this. Let's get straight to it because uh, we're so close to finishing. So we're going to take a copy of this. Uh, we're going to open up a uh, new item. And we're going to write a new class. We call it the data. Right, first things first, we're going to go up to the top, we're going to change this to the data, and we're going to change this to the data. Okay. We're going to keep pretty much, um, yeah, we're going to keep the rest the same. Oh, one thing we will need to do is we'll also need to change this, our permission to the data, because we've changed the name of the file. Okay, so what we're going to look at is storing things as a data file. So. This is where we're going to start. Let me get my notes up. Here we go. Uh, under our config, we're going to write here. There we are. Right. We're going to write um, stored data. And we'll call it stored data. Stored uh, data. Yeah. Stored data with both capitals. I'm going to save it as stored data with uh, only a capital D. Okay, and um, we're going to write the class, which is going to be stored data, both capitals. Stored data. And then in our class, I'm going to make uh, a list. So we're going to say public uh, list, capital L, list. Um, and that list is going to be of ulongs which is going to be our steam ID and we're going to say knocked. Okay. Um, we're going to make that a new list. Uh, wow. How rude. And now I'm going to go back and I'm going to change what it's decided that I wanted compared to what I actually wanted. How nice. Thanks. Butt face. Um, what else? Da, 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 da. Ooh, what I am going to need to do though is I'm going to need to add some dependencies. Now you can see that this has now come up with an error and it says, Are you missing a directive or assembly or reference? And then I'll say, Show potential fixes. Now it'll actually tell me what I need, which is the systems collection generic. And if I go here and I click on it, it should add it to the top. Boom, there it is. Um, another one that we might need is uh, using uh, oxide core, but I'll double check that in a minute. Okay, so <laughs> here is uh, the beginning of our list. Okay, now what we're going to do is we're going to say uh, void on oops, uh, loaded, which is a universal hook. Once the server has loaded, we're going to say we're going to say uh, stored data is equal to is equal to interface interface dot oxide uh, dot data file system which is just slash data uh, we're going to read the object <laughs> read object um, Read the object stored data, stored data, um, and we're going to say we're going to call it um, the same as our file, so we're going to call it the data. Okay, close that off. Okay, and now let's do interface dot oxide dot data file system dot write object um, and we're going to say the data name of the file the data 
and we're going to say um, that is stored data. Stored, stored data. Okay. Let's close that off. Boom. And let's uh, let's write interface, not interdace. There we go. And then we just need another void, which is pretty much the same as this bottom line. Well, actually, it's exactly the same as this bottom line. So we'll go like this, and we're going to say void. Save data. Save data. There you go. And that's the data side setup. So what we're going to do is we're going to say that um, we're going to keep the uh, my door command. Okay. Um, we're going to keep the config. Um, we may as well keep the config data dot knock, which is the poo poo. But um, something else we're going to do is we're going to keep a record of every player that has knocked on this door. So to do that, we're going to fire off that if we're going to look at the command again on knock door if the door is the same as the one in the config, say this is an admin base, go away and then we're going to say stored data stored data dot knocked, which is what I uh, called the file up here Knocked. Uh, I'm going to add. I'm going to say the player uh, dot user ID. Capital U, capital I, capital D. No, no capital U. Lowercase U, capital I, capital D. That's the one. Okay. And then. Um, We've got to do something with that data, so we need to save that data. Save the data. Save spell correctly. Save the data. Okay, and this time we don't need to define um, what we're saving it as. Okay, let's add another command in. So, if, uh, say, you wanted to clear the data. So we do chat command. Um, let's just call it clear. Let's do our void. Clear base player. Capital E. Capital P. Here. Low case P. Okay. So uh, say we wanted to get rid of the data, so we're going to just say this is nice and easy. Store data dot knocked uh, dot clear. Okay, and then uh, just to double check that, what we need to do is just say uh, save data. Oh, I keep doing it. Save data. <laughs> All my letters are backwards today. Okay, so we're just going to fire off save data, and. Um, because it's um, this is all just silent, there's nothing to do, we're just going to do a send reply. So we do send uh, reply to the player, send reply to the player, and uh, data has been cleared. Just so that the player can see. Now, obviously, this normally what you would do is you'd say if um, permission dot user has permission dot you know you know um, player oops player dot user id dot to string and then the permission name the data dot admin If the player has the what you can do is if the player hasn't got the permission, um, you could just do that and just return it, and it wouldn't do anything. It wouldn't say anything. Um, but if the permission has that, do this. Yeah, fine. Okay. Um, another thing that I like to put, and I like to do this one for data, is this. Um, we're going to do void, uh, private void. Private, private void, and it's going to be called on 
new save. Now I love this one. I don't know why other people don't use it. I use it on anything that has a data file. Okay. This hook here on new save is run once on new save, which means that the map data and everything else has been cleared and it's saving it for the first time. Okay, which means that this is fired off every time the server is wiped. So we'll just copy this, store data, not clear, save data, and then we'll get rid of this one and we're going to say puts, because this is going to be uh, console grid level. I'm going to say puts, uh, wipe detected. Um, knocked data cleared. Boom. Fail safe. Well, okay, let's save it. Let's uh, chuck it onto the server. Uh, plugins and data. The data. Our config data should be exactly the same. Refresh. There's the data. Nothing on there. Um, and in our data file, besides all this, on, let's make a new folder. Not in video. Uh, let's just select all and drop this in. Okay. Let's go across to our Archon. You can see that it compiled successfully. Um, oh, there is a problem. The hook uses the same command. O dot unload, unload the hook, and then we're going to do O dot reload the data. There we go. Okay. Because I copied the command straight across. Okay, so here it is. Here's my door at the moment. If I knock the door, nothing happens. If I change this to my door, it should door. It, my door. It should turn around and say no permission. So obviously we need to grab ourselves the permission for that. So I'll just use this one. Oop. The door. Donkey. Ah. <laughs> uh the data. Thank you. Uh, let's uh, double check that we're still recording. Yep. Yeah, all good. Okay, so here's my door. As as we know, it's a, bit, it's a bit slow, so if I set this to my door now, right, I found the door. If I open up my uh, data folder here, there's only a file here for the data, and there's nothing in it. Okay. If I now go and knock the door, it should say poo poo in the chat and if I update this boom here's my steam ID okay so uh, the command that we put, we put in was uh, slash clear so if we just do slash clear uh, it says the data has been cleared which is what uh, our send reply was and if I go and look at the file itself and I refresh you can see that the data has been cleared what you can do is uh, see the problem is if I knock the door multiple times it will say that I've knocked the door multiple times so what you can do here is on the door knocked um, you could say you could put another F if um, store data dot knocked um, dot contains contains um, player dot uh, user ID and you can just return that return return yeah. like that okay okay so if I save that now and I uh, throw it back in to the plugins folder the data there we go. it should compile successfully which it did and then when we go to our data file, if I uh, bring my data file up in the background, if I clear the data first, slash clear, oops, slash, 
clear. The data has been cleared, so it's here. And then if I knock the door, it says poo poo, and it should be there. And then if I knock the door again, it has not put me back in. See? And it's not written the poo poo message because the poo poo message is this side of the argument. So if I wanted to carry on displaying the argument, I just remove it from here and drop it in there. Again, save. And now if I knock the door, it should say poo poo. And if I check the list, it should only save me once. So that's data. That's data saved. And uh, I think we're we're homeward bound. We're now going to make a plugin. Yep. Next episode is the finale. We're going to make a plugin that has some sort of functionality, even though it's completely useless and no one would ever use it. But we're going to make one. Okay. Join me on the next one.